This is calculator question number 26. College Board tells us that two points in the plane are on a line that passes through the origin. So let's draw a sketch of that situation. I have, let's draw the line first. So this x is 2 and the y is k. And this x is k the corresponding y is 32. This is the point k32, this is the point 2k, and this is the point 00. zero. And if they're all on the same line, the slope from the origin to k32 equals the slope from the origin to 2k. And remember, your slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. The most common errors on slope are flipping the order of the x's or the y's, but not both. And if you flip the order of only one of them, that flips the sign in your slope. So make sure the sl slope comes out, in this case, positive, but the sign that you expect. The other error is flipping the entire fraction. Some people inadvertently put x on top. Remember, slope is rise over run. That's change in y over the change in x. The y is always the numerator for slope. So our slope is 32 minus 0 over k minus 0 is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And it's the same slope to this other point because they're on the same line. So that's k minus 0 over 2 minus 0. And notice that the point 0, 0 is second both times. I haven't swapped the order on the numerator and not on the denominator. This simplifies to 32 over k equals k over 2. And we're good at this particular equation because we cross multiply. So that gives us 2 times 32 is 64 equals k squared, or k equals plus or minus 8. I'm going to go with positive 8 because that's one of our answer choices. College Board often asks questions like this that require slope with a linear equation. So make sure you review this before your SAT and come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.